Uh, good morning, my name is Todd Nance, I'm the Senior Metrology Manager for the Ashburg campus at Technomark. Been with the company for 33 years, uh, started here in 1987. Um, the company actually started in 1983. Uh, our founder, Don Wellington, uh, actually rented six machines from a company about 20 miles south of here and started basically pulling in tools and running parts in rented space. And year or two down the line, he got asked where his plant was. And so he built a plant. And that's where Technomark started. We are now in multiple countries. We have at least three plants in Mexico. Uh, we have a plant in El Paso, Texas, a plant in La Trobe, Pennsylvania. We have an embedded plant in um, West Virginia, and that's embedded into a PNG mega site where we provide components uh, for their operation actually on site. Uh, we are in Ireland, we're in the UK, we're in Germany, we're in China. Um, so we were actually supporting the cosmetics industry in that country, and, and very little came back out of there. Uh, now we use China a lot for um, some add-ons that we can't exactly do in the U.S. We can do those in uh, our China facility. Mm -hmm. First automated CMM we purchased was in 1996. And we do a lot of color changes. So the very early vision systems that we looked at did not handle color changes well. And, and that was kind of that was kind of what kind of pushed me away from vision originally. Um, but now with the, the latest cameras and the, the multi-sensor tools where you've got the laser, you've got the through the lens, uh, you've got touch probing, scanning, all of that on, on an OGP system with multi-sensors, that has came leaps and bounds from where it was in the 90s. Uh, we still use CMMs, um, but we are migrating heavily towards vision and multi-sensor tools, especially as we step towards medical. Um, I can remember, I was having this discussion the other day, in the 90s, if you said you could measure a thousandth of an inch, that was incredible. Uh, by the early 2000s, well, we can measure to a half a thousandth, and that was incredible. But now, if you can't talk in microns, you're, you're kind of behind the times. Uh, and I've seen it come from where, you know, like I said, everybody thought a thousandth was incredible. And now, if you're not in microns, you're behind. So as we are developing these faster processes out on the floor, we have to figure out faster ways to measure, or we have to figure out ways to statistically measure enough parts that gives us valid data. Um, I like to work with the customers up front, and that's, that's really my favorite part of the job is to figure out what do they want to measure, what makes sense in process, and how are we going to get to that production level. Uh, we may start out with a one-up fixture. We may actually even grow a fixture here in our uh, innovation center. And we do some test bedding on, okay, does it work better with a, a, an OGP multi-sensor system, or does it work better on a CMM? Um, and working with the customer, we develop that. We work towards that end goal of knowing we're going to have 144 cavities that we probably want to check at least once a day. And so do we split that up between four rounds of inspection or six rounds of inspection? And then what do they require for their receiving paperwork? Do they need 30 parts on it or do they need you know, 350, 400 parts on it? Um, then we gear towards that speed and we design our fixtures that allows us to load that machine and walk away from it. And so we're actually right now in our main lab, we're doing between 10 and 12,000 dimensions every 12 hours, and we're doing that with one person. Um, so that's where our throughput has got to. We need that high speed, we need that high accuracy. So when it comes to populating the C of A's and uh, any documentation our customers need, four and five decimal places may be overkill for plastic, but when you start working with it statistically, you get a lot better graphs. Um, and so you don't have that, that what I call chunky data. Um, you actually get some nice rounded bell curves and you start to see some real statistical trends that you can work with to make your process better and assure the customer they're getting what they need. Hi, I'm Alec Pablo. I'm one of the metrology engineers at Technomark Ashboro. I've been with the company for seven years now and in my role, four years, and I, ha I handle primarily the um, incoming inspection, uh, the development side, as well as um, developing fixtures, the programming, and what type of measurement system we're going to choose to handle the production side. You know, the Fusion 400 has been um, very beneficial to us. We're able to inspect a variety of different parts within the large field of view and uh, be able to capture measurements very accurately and um, 
we're also able to utilize the, the laser that's on the fusion as well um, to get a lot more uh, profiles of the surface and also accurate Z measurements. Um, so combined with the optics and the laser has been very helpful um, to measure a variety of parts and very quickly. And um, for those ca uh, cases where we have to measure um, holes at specific levels, we were able to use the scanning probe that's on our Fusion to capture those measurements. So we're able to keep everything on one machine and measure everything very quickly. So with the Fusion 400, it's very convenient to be able to have the touch probe retract back into the machine and not be um, in the way as we're using the optics. So the flow is I will measure everything with optics and laser first and then come in afterwards with the touch probe and do everything simultaneously there. Uh, so we got the speed, we have the um, convenience of all three sensors, everything in one machine. The touch probe is um, retracted back in the machine, so whenever we need it, we just retract it out. It comes out, it, it measures everything, goes back where it needs to go, and continue uh, measuring with laser and optics. So very fast machine, very capable, um, be able to measure a variety of parts. We also have um, technicians or process engineers come in. They'll have a, a part that's, you know, we haven't created a program for it yet. Um, they'll have questions about measurements and I just take that part. I'll use the feature extractor uh, tool that's in zone three and capture all measurements right there and needed and they'll have an answer within minutes versus what would normally take a couple of hours um, writing a CMM program. You know, Zone 3 um, has optimized the software very well. Um, creating a program from start to finish is a lot shorter. The features are easy to use. There's enough um, advanced features as far as like, you know, the edge detection where I can pick up um, edges very easily and the correct edge and um, to be able to switch between different sensors in the software has definitely um, been a big improvement. And you know, I can sit down, write a, write a program within you know, less than an hour, whereas you know, doing the same thing in other softwares would take hours to do. Yeah, we have a variety of different uh, finishes of our components. Some are glossy, some are more of a matte finish, and then we also have translucent parts and even clear materials. So um, the systems like the OGP uh, uh, Fusion and the SP463 both handle um, those different types of materials very well. Um, there'll be times where I have to use the auto adjust light settings where um, it'll look for a specific light intensity. So if we have different colors of the part, you know, it, each part is measured consistently with the correct lighting. So anytime we have a clear part with, uh, with Z measurements that we need to get to where the laser um, wouldn't quite be the right option and the touch probe, you know, maybe the, the spaces are too tight the grid projector really shines. So we're able to get um, Z measurements on, say, a small shelf and uh, a tight space, and it just works uh, very well for us. The Through the Lens laser um, was able to capture points on uh, translucent materials uh, very well. Um, we were very skeptical at first because most of our um, laser technology that we use uh, to scan does not work very well on translucent surfaces. So um, we had an instance where we measured, we need to measure flatness on a very um, narrow surface and the material was translucent and the laser just was uh, able to pick up a lot of points but also accurate data um, on those surfaces without any trouble at all. The large field of view optics on the Fusion has um, allowed us to measure multiple parts in one field of view and has sped up our um, production inspection time tremendously. We're able to capture um, not just one feature but multiple features at the same exact time before um, the stage even moves. So that's how we're able to utilize the throughput of the Fusion to its fullest. 
So my name is Matt. I'm a metrology product specialist at Cross Precision Measurement. I've been with the company for about 10 years and I've worked with Technomark pretty much since day one. Um, Cross Precision Measurement is one of the five different groups at Cross that all work in different areas of manufacturing. Our specialty is metrology equipment and services and we provide both to Technomark. Uh, so yeah, so you know, Technomark is a pretty unique manufacturer from the standpoint of they can produce pretty highly complex parts, but they also do so at scale. Uh, so when the Fusion came out, Technomark was one of the first companies that I thought about because of the fact that um, the specific part that it was purchased for um, has a lot of features very densely packed. So large field of view made sense from a throughput standpoint, um, but we needed fixed focal length, high magnification optics to get the small features. We also needed to measure in Z. So that's why having sensors like the Telestar laser made sense. And um, you know, once the Fusion got into the facility and it started to be used, initially it was kind of dedicated to that one part. Um, but as different applications came up, you know, I'd get a call from Alec or Todd to say, hey, do you think a Fusion could do this? Um, so our applications expert, Chris Johnson, would help them with how they could use zone three or different sensors like the laser, like the scanning probe. And from there, the Fusion took on a new role, which was kind of like a prototype metrology system. And what that's led to is um, they might have an application for a large field of view and it's a 2D application and a snap is a great fit. They might need multi-sensor um, and in that application, the SmartScope SP is a good fit. So whenever they've had new projects come up, they'll reach out to us and we'll bring them down to our facility, which has a variety of different systems, and we'll be able to sit down and talk about the different sensors or software tools that are available, and then we can narrow down what's the next best piece of equipment to support that product. Uh, so yeah, so you know, working with Technomark after we got the Fusion installed, um, they work with such a broad range of products in different industries, um, and they have a lot of unique applications. And so the great thing is, is you know, OGP's product portfolio is very broad. Uh, manual systems, 2D systems, 3D systems, multi-sensor. And so you know, what the Fusion offers is that we've got a base point of reference. And then from there, um, we're able to pick the right system for the application to meet different budgets, different operator skill sets. Um, but we're also able to consolidate it, right? So we're able to cover a huge range of applications only using Zone 3 and Measure X software. And um, you know, we haven't really hit any limitations, right? Because we have a conversation up front with Todd and Alec. Hey, who's going to be using this? What type of data do you need? And then from there, we configure a system and it goes in. Um, they're able to support it immediately in-house. And if they run into any issues, they give us a call and um, it's very easy to kind of walk through any issues that they might run into. So uh, from the perspective of offering the flexibility of having the right technology for the application, um, but without creating any hurdles from having to learn different softwares or incompatibility from one machine to the other, uh, it's really kind of a nice fit, right, between um, flexibility but also um, meeting a specific need.